Alright, so maybe you've seen some of the videos that I posted on YouTube about the wine barrels. Now, the reason I did that is because I just wanted to explain the benefits of using wood as opposed to using the metal, the nest boxes. The metal ones are pretty much a standard, which everybody probably uses for the most part. I just want to show you one way to stop the birds from chewing that door. On my door, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm going to let the birds chew it up because it's really good for them. It keeps them stimulated. It's good for them. It keeps them preoccupied. All right, now we're going to get to the point of all this. So we're going to imagine that this is, this is one inch right here. This is the same thickness as the wine barrel door would have. It will work for any wood nest box that you have. Um, you're going to have to figure out certain details. So now, the birds are chewing as, at this as we know. Okay, they're chew, chew, chew. They're going to go through it all. Now, how do you avoid them chewing your nest box? How do you avoid that? Well, I'll show you how. One idea that I had to prevent the birds from chewing it is putting a piece of metal similar to this around the opening that the birds are going to climb in and out of. Let's measure it. Let's see, that's an inch and three eighths. That's an inch and an inch and three eighths. So, you put it on your door, you have to cut it. You have to, either you do it yourself or have somebody cut it, see it's loose. And this right here, but all by itself, if you have your metal going around your door, you will prevent your birds from chewing up the door. It'll last, I don't okay, I don't want to say forever, but it's going to last definitely a whole lot longer than them chewing it up. You saw what they did after just one year. This is galvanized, and I don't know if it's safe to use for the birds. Do your research, do your Google searches and everything like that, and figure out exactly what metal is safe and what metal is not safe. Um, zinc, anything with zinc is no good. Do not use zinc. Now, it seems to me like galvanized would not be good at all, but all my bird cages are made out of galvanized metal. If you're thinking about it, I don't know. I, I would probably have myself have to go look it up. So now let's think about something else. Here's the original piece of wood that I have that when, when I cut out the um, door opening, this is it. One thing that you're going to have to think about is this radius on here if you're doing a nest box that's possibly wine barrel. Look at how it lines up. I don't know if you saw my video that I mentioned how they interlock with each other. It literally does. Anyways, so the radius on this, let's take a look and get some measurements here. We have, it's actually one inch. Okay. Now the radius, with your radius, this, this cut out here is about seven inches, just shy of seven inches. Now, touching the ground on one end to the top here is one and three eighths. And this is one and three eighths on the inside, and altogether it's an inch and a half. Um, and it's a half inch lip. Fit this on, it almost wants to fit, but it doesn't quite fit. So the easiest way to, for me, if I wanted to do this to relieve it, is just to sand a little bit off your wine barrel up here, whatever you got. But then keep in mind, you'll have, you'll have this on the inside. Just make sure it doesn't have any sharp edges that the birds could hurt themselves and get cut with, because more than likely they're gonna use this as a gripping point when they come in and out. Just make sure that's filed nice and clean. I'm not saying I recommend doing this. Like I said, I'm leaving my stuff raw. In the future, I may add this just because I might not want to deal with the problems. Something that I don't ever want to have to deal with again, I will do this. Anyways, keep that in mind. See, this will fit nice like this. This is the best way I could think of to prevent your birds from chewing up your opening. And if you want your wine barrels to last, do it like this. Do your research. Now check for aluminum, that's probably, if I was to buy anything, it would be aluminum for sure. It's the best, I think. But even then, you would have to double check to make sure what's in that particular aluminum. I don't know, birds are sensitive to certain things. So, hope this helped. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. But I will show you what could be done with this one example right here. If you're gonna do your, a, a seam for your door opening, do it something like this, a butt cut. Let your side pieces run down and flush them up with the bottom here. And be sure on the back side of all your metal that you back file it with a sander. Do not want to char. You make that as dull as possible. Because remember, your birds are gonna be all over it, chewing on it. They're gonna use it to climb on. So and make sure your t pieces are very tight like this. You don't ever want your bird's toes to get stuck in there. Um, who knows what can happen. But just be very careful with it. Keep it tight, keep it good, keep it clean. And best of luck.
if you're just say you have to hire somebody, for example, to put a wine barrel in or in, have it installed, and you don't have a lot of skill to keep replacing your wine barrels, this is one good thing that you could do. Or if you're somebody that doesn't want to have any maintenance, um, I mean, of course, birds are just constant maintenance. So if you're one of those type of people, you probably shouldn't have birds in the first place. To find the wine barrels is not exactly the easiest thing. There are websites that you can pay full price for, and I believe they're about $300 or $250 if you're going to buy them from one of those parties.